All right, welcome to episode, I'm going to say eight of our Jersey vlog here. Uh, start the timer and get right into today's first Jersey, which comes from Turkey. And it is Galatasaray. Galatasaray? Galatasaray. It's something, isn't it? Uh, the Besiktas Jersey last episode, I've only got two Turkish shirts. This happens to be the other one. A uh, pretty, um, I don't know about this particular design, but obviously uh, Galatasaray are known for their maroon and gold stripes. Um, you know, pretty classic design, classic colours. Uh, the badge there in those particular colours as well. So, uh, all in all, a pretty handy shirt. Uh, it's also got this special sew-on Turkish flag badge, which I imagine would go in the middle like that, but uh, I haven't got around to doing that yet. Uh, never worn it and probably don't intend on wearing it anytime soon, but it's there nonetheless. Uh, next up from England, it is Northampton Town. Uh, my goal is sort of almost the same colour, isn't it? My goal is to get every EFL team, football league, whatever you want to call it. Um, Northampton Town, obviously one of those, football league one. I believe... Northampton's sort of around the Leicester area. I, I might be wrong on that, but um, nonetheless, this is nice. I remember a few years ago they had, they had a similar design with a white bar across the middle with the University of Northampton. That's the one I wanted. Um, I didn't end up getting it that year, and obviously you can't get older jerseys. Uh, I think I picked this one up at the end of the season on sale. I, I love this badge. Um, Real quick shout out to the badge, it's all, I don't know that material, it's fab, you know, it's not, it's not like this, it's a lot different, it's, it's nice, it's nice is what I'm trying to say. Up next, almost, could almost say the Soviet Union, but no, it's a Russia shirt for the 2017 Confederations Cup, uh, which they hosted. Uh, this is a throwback to the Soviet Union uh, I wasn't alive for that, so I don't really know what year. I'm going to say early 90s, maybe late 80s. Uh, but nonetheless, this design, that, like you can see that weird zigzag-ish design, which is well known with uh, a lot of Soviet era sort of things. The red and white colours, obviously. Um, you know, back at that time, the Soviet Union particularly in ice hockey, were a very formidable force. Uh, the Russians on the, on the football field haven't been that good over the past years. Uh, up next, I really do not like this shade of orange, but it's Hull City. I don't like that shade at all. I think they've brought out, you know, they've got darker sort of orange now, but this was from a few years ago, obviously, as you can see this badge right here. You're not going to see one of those on a Hull City shirt. Uh, anytime soon, at, judging by their current standing, but um, this logo, Hull City AFC, the Tigers, that was before uh, before the crazy owner wanted to take Hull out of the name and they were just going to be the Tigers or something like that, I, I, I don't know. Um, one of those stereotypical rich Asian owners that just try and change the identity of a football club, uh, just like Cardiff City, how that one went. Cash converters on the front, that's in not really that good of a sponsor. I don't I'd rather that than your typical, you know, go uh, I don't know, one of those Asian betting sponsors with all the weird letters and whatnot. Um next up, I've got the Man City shirt on, I'm a Man City fan. Here's another Man City shirt, because I've just got a million of them. Uh this one is from 2015-16, the home jersey. Uh Apart from that, there's not much really special about it. It is the final ever home shirt for Manchester City with the old uh, badge on it, which is that one right there. I don't know, I'm sort of... I guess I've gotten used to the new one. Uh, I didn't like it at first, the change, but uh, nonetheless, that's pretty much all you can say. I like this collar. You know, the collars... This doesn't have a collar any. I, I like collars and I like sometimes having really overboard flappy collars like that. Um, just holding it like this sort of makes it look like New South Wales Origin shirt from like back in the 90s or something. 
Shout out Zabaletta on the back. Uh, he has left. Many a player have left. Um, West Brom. Typical team that's just always there in the Premier League and always around 12th or 13th or something. Uh, never really doing too much over the last few years, but uh, West Brom nonetheless. Uh, this shirt from the 2014 season, 2013-14 I'm going to say. Uh, Zoopla on the front, which I'm just going to say is some sort of betting or cash or something to do with betting or cash. Um, apart from that basic Adidas template of that particular season with the uh, the stripes uh, and also the weird arm thing, uh, West Wall's End had one of these going with their Adidas shirt a couple of years back. Um, apart from that, there's really not too much to say about it. This on the back, I tell you what, I miss this. Uh, the new rules about having all solid backs, I don't like that very much. Uh, you might need it for this team though. The uh, Croatian shirt from the 2014, I'm going to say World Cup, I think they were in it. But anyway, this was a shirt they were wearing in 2014. Uh, you can't have a jersey collection without this chequered Croatian pattern. Absolutely famous, of course, based on the Croatian flag. That is not the flag, that is a Football Federation logo. But, um, you know... This is just, uh, as I said on the back, uh, you can't have this going all the way up and then trying to put a black number or something. So obviously you've got the main, the red bit, but um, no, the Croatian jersey is a famous design. Uh, I'm actually going to the V8s next month, so I'm thinking, you know, if I take this and wave this there. Obviously not a black and white checkered flag, but it's close enough, isn't it? Um, it's very, uh, I don't know, it's very busy, this shirt. It's, it's one that uh, it stands out in a crowd, that shirt. Uh, this one, probably not so much. Uh, this was literally $10, up $15 on a cheap website. Um, Malaga from Spain. 15, 16 home shirt, and oh, my left arm's getting so I'm going to use my right arm. Just terrible template Nike design. I mean, the material, you're not here, I'm here to feel this material and to tell you it feels like crap. Um, you know, this is one of those typical Nike shirts that cost about $2 to make and then they sell on for about 100 when the season starts and then you can pick it up for the real value price of about $10 at the end of the season, which is what I did, um, made in Thailand. It's, it's not great. It's, uh, it's got the, obviously, on the back it's all white. Um, I don't know, I just bought it because it was cheap and because I didn't have that team, that's pretty much all I can say about that one. Uh, and this isn't really a team jersey, but um, I feel like I've skipped one. I have skipped one. It was a Jets shirt. Uh, the away Jets shirt from the 13-14 season. Uh, I'm trying to remember what that would be. That's going to be in the next video. So there will only be nine shirts in this video. Uh, this one is a six-a-side shirt. Five-a-side? Five-a-side. Uh, from last year. Uh, playing out at Spears Point. And uh, we got these shirts made, uh, Sports Click, Puma, uh, Joel Grinnell, of course. Uh, they do pretty good work, Puma, locally, so um, this is pretty much it's part of the collection, technically, so I did have to show it off. Yeah, the number's a little bit worn, um, but yeah, that, that was uh, what I was wearing when I got flogged out at Spears Point last year, beautiful uh, facility. Costs a crap load to play out there though, which is why I'm not playing there this year. Um, that's pretty much it. That's nine jerseys. There should have been ten. There'll be ten next episode, maybe eleven. Anyway, that was episode eight, maybe nine, maybe ten. I don't even know. I'm not really counting. See you in the next one.